So I just had a super interesting conversation with a paleo diet enthusiast. Um, and I said to this person, like, you know, what is it that you, that you like about this diet? I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad, but what does the diet even mean to you? What do you actually think it is? And they went on to tell me all the foods that are on the Paleolithic diet and, you know, it's meat and, you know, and then it's like it's supplemented with some, some fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds and, you know, the olive oil and, uh, you know, it's, it's what the Paleolithic people ate, which is complete bullshit. I can't, it, by the way, not a take, just flat out bullshit. Speak to any archeological scientist who specializes in diet and they will tell you it's complete bullshit. Google it and you will find out it's complete bullshit. The Paleolithic diet came from a fad diet from the seventies called the Stone Age diet. So like every other fad diet for the most part is just reskinned from the seventies or the early eighties for millennials, just like keto is Atkins. Paleo is the Stone Age diet. It just is and <clears throat> not only is this just complete bullshit it's proven to be complete bullshit so literally any archaeological scientist will show you they can study from the remains of our 10,000 year old ancestors what these individuals were eating and it isn't the foods on the paleolithic diet in fact most of those foods didn't even exist they're modern creations of modern day farming, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But if you look at things like carrots, a wild carrot from 10,000 years ago, you couldn't even consume that. We, we had to breed hardcore pesticides, like inherent pesticides and cyanide out of a lot of these fruits and vegetables, right? It, from almonds are a perfect example, right? We had to breed the cyanide out of those things. Modern day agriculture has made these foods far more nutritious, tasty, delicious, and edible, but they weren't a thing 10,000 years ago. It's bullshit. And I, I'm not telling you not to eat a carrot. That's, that's not what I'm saying, or not to eat an avocado, which also was not an avocado 10,000 years ago. Like. There was maybe a few inches of meat on a 10,000 year old avocado, maybe, like it, it wasn't a thing. You look at an advertisement for the paleo diet and literally they will have foods from all, like, oh, this this blueberry came from Mexico and this, fruit, this piece of produce was grown over in China. I mean, it's just, it, it's not true. It's a lie, a complete bullshit lie. And I, I bring this up because not because the paleo diet is unhealthy per se, it, the modern, it's just, what drives me crazy is that you're being sold a flat out scientific fallacy. And I, I want you to question it because again, I, I've said before, these things are not, it's not a take. Go and consult an archeologist and ask them, you know, were our ancient ancestors massive meat eaters? No, we weren't. Here's what we do know about the Paleolithic diet of human beings. Number one, it was different. There were Paleolithic diets, right? We were scattered across the globe. We could only eat what was available to us. So yeah, in really, really cold parts of the world, we had to eat more animals, right? Because there weren't as many plants. Then there are places that had far less animals available and we were really eating far more plants. Like the diet varies on the location. So what can we take away from something like that? That variety, right? Diversity. And when you hear really brilliant registered dietitians talk about, or doctors, again, um, you guys know I love Dr. William Lee, another genius, talk about cultural foods, the benefits of cultural foods that go back thousands of years. Well, in India, like, what do you got? It's saffron, turmeric, coriander. Well, they don't have that in Japan. What are they eating? Sea vegetables. Like, this is the tradition over thousands of years. You look to the culture, right? And we study what the Mediterranean diet. Olive oil was not a Paleolithic thing. They weren't able to extrapolate olive oil from olives. 
They didn't have the technology to do that. Is it good for you? Sure, but it's a, if anything, a Neolithic food. But, so what is the lesson there? Diversity in our food is, is key. And we know this science, it's proven science. We know, culturally speaking, that human beings from all over the planet, right, as we evolved in different parts of the world, we began to learn all these great superfoods from those regions. So incorporate those, right? In incorporate those traditional cultural superfoods from the Mediterranean, right? Batarga, we, we've talked about batarga before. It's fish eggs used in Mediterranean food, loaded with omega-3s. We could go on and on. What else do we know? What's, what else is actually true? about the Paleolithic diet, that we would eat foods in their most whole and natural form. That's 100% the case, right? There was no processing of grains. That wasn't a thing. There was no fruit juice. It wasn't a thing. We know that eating foods in their, mo their most whole form not only make the micronutrients more available to us, the vitamins and minerals, we utilize all of that fiber for our microbiome and our, we've, again, I've touched on microbiome and how it plays a role in nearly every aspect of our health from our longevity, our immunity, our ability to fight off diseases, our body weight, all of that. Um, you know, we, we know that that's integral, is food in its most whole form. And we know that diversity is critical. What can you actually take from these lessons over time? But if you're, if you're going to look at it, like really look at it. And I, I just get pissed when people sell bullshit, man. I just, I don't want you to be sold bullshit. It pisses me off. And paleolithic diet is not what's in the paleo book. That's not real. We were not massive carnivores. We haven't adapted to be massive carnivores. In fact, quite the opposite. We've, we've actually adapted to consume more plants. We are omnivores, but for the most part, which looks like, it looks like, based on our anatomy, that we're predominantly supposed to be plant eaters. So the bottom line here is, it's not wrong to have olive oil. It's not wrong to have an avocado. They have plenty of health benefits, but before you subscribe to anything, do your research, dig in deep, dig in deep across the board. Don't just blindly believe somebody. Don't in it like, oh, that sounds good. No, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Do your homework, do your research before you adopt any change to your lifestyle of any kind. Always be proactive in your health and talk to different experts that have degrees in the field. That's, that's what, what, what I do. I will talk to, when paleo came out, I spoke to an archeological scientist and said, is this true? Sounds like bullshit. Bullshit, that's all. I just wanna make sure you don't get duped. Pisses me 